Computer Engineering from JSPM College. I am a 2020 year pass out. So basically after my completing my degree, I was looking for a uh, for starting my, my learning in especially in Linux field. So uh, while doing my research and through some of my mutual common friends, I came to know about the uh, Webasha technologies. So I visited the Webasha technologies uh, some three to four, four months back and uh, I was uh, uh, guided by my sir regarding the whole outline of the course, uh, what should be the career path if one needs to make uh, in this domain that is a Linux domain. So uh, with the help, uh, with the information provided by the sir, I decided to uh, start my training. Uh, so I basically enrolled for the three courses that is CCNA, ISCSA and RSC. So the my the overall journey of my learning was uh, quite well. The, the teaching, the trainer that is Satyendra Palsa taught uh, in such a manner that uh, it was uh, it was simple and uh, easy to understand even for a uh, even for a person who is not from the technical back, uh, background. So overall the tra training was uh, uh, nicely based. Uh, means that it was not as if it was going at a very fast pace. Uh, it uh, serve uh, was teaching uh, according to the pace of the students. So the train or the overall tra training was uh, completed uh, quite well. After that I decided to uh, appear for the certification as as my sir told about the importance of uh, the certification uh, which actually helps uh, in uh, getting uh, the, in getting more job opportunities so i uh, started preparing for my exam uh, approximately 2 months back and uh, so the material the study materials and the exam material was provided by the sir so i started my uh, practice accordingly. So the most important part was the, the lab, lab availability. So the lab was available for the students or is available for the student for almost all the day. So you can uh, attend the classes and, and uh, do the lab, lab sessions as well. So the very first uh, misconception uh, most of the students have about the exam is that it is a uh, it is a hard exam, a tough exam, which, which I think is not the case. If you practice enough for for uh, for one one and a half month uh, or accordingly, according to your uh, convenience, you may you are able to pass the exam. The terms, questions, and the materials are provided by the sir, and and even if you are get stuck at any point of time, sir is always there to help you with the uh, preparation. And so I uh, started my preparation and appeared for the exam uh, this month and I clear, cleared my exam, uh, uh, cleared my exam. So the overall uh, experience of the exam was uh, uh, pretty well. The, some, uh, some, uh, some tips from my side if I have to give anyone who is appearing for the exam is to, pra is to uh, first of all make uh, practice enough. You know, Make sure you have uh, practice all the questions uh, uh, again and again, so you will not uh, be confused uh, or uh, any, have any problem with the in the, in the exam. And the exam environment uh, is actually replicated in the lab provided lab provided itself. So it is not as if you you will not, you will be aware of the exam environment uh, uh, before only. So. Well, as it is a scenario based exam, one should uh, so read the questions uh, accordingly and care, carefully and, uh, appro and approach the uh, approach the exam uh, as it is. Uh, uh, the the overall uh, exam uh, time of examination is three hours, which I think is more than efficient if you have, if you had done the enough uh, practice. And so yeah, the, uh, this is. That was it. Uh, this was my experience with the uh, examination, which I was able to clear with the help of the trainer, Satinder Basar, and the guidance by my mind.